What's going on guys today? Um, it's, we're going to talk about a lot of Slack communication in regards to sales. So if you want to have a, an appointment notification or a lead notification, as you can see here, sent to your Slack channel for your appointment setting team and your sales team to get notified, uh, through, you know, someone booking an appointment on go high level, you know, where does that information go? And how can your team be fully aware of what's going on in the sales process? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a notification for leads and appointments in this video. So let's dive on into it. So here we are in go high level and we're going to go into uh, our workflows. All right. We're going to create a workflow within itself. I'll show you an example of a, the finished product. You know, you create a workflow, you have a the notification, and what you're gonna do is pretty much, it's gonna look like this at the very end of things. So I'm gonna create an example of this, um, but I'm gonna show you each and everything. So here's the first thing, CRM, you know, a form is submitted. So think about, you know, your landing page, what form is it? You're gonna select that form and specific to that specific area. So my, my form is my free training. And then I create a thing called a web hook. So I call it a send lead notification. I grab this, this link. I'll show you how to do that here in a second. And then I add it to my pipeline to be sure it's organized in the sales process. And then I also add a tag into it so they know what offer that they got. So <clears throat> let's go back. Let's create a workflow. We're gonna start from scratch. Continue. And by the way, the way you're gonna do this appointment deal or the lead and no, lead notification, it's gonna be the exact same way. So first off, create a workflow trigger, CRM, start there if it's uh, an appointment, as you can see here, um, or if it's a lead, you wanna go into a form submitted, add filters, select a specific form. Just an example here. And what I can do is save the trigger I'll add another thing called a webhook. A webhook will grab the information, send it to wherever I want, and I will go into selecting a webhook. So there's the webhook. And I gotta grab the URL. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Zapier. I'm gonna create a zap. So when I create a zap, it's creating a workflow. And make sure you've already integrated all your apps. Um, in this case, um, webhooks are already in here. I can trigger an event. You will catch the hook, continue, and there's the link. And you'll press continue. And what you can do is go back into Z or go high level workflow, put the link there, save that action. So when someone submits that specific form, it catches it. So where are we going to throw the information? We're going to throw this information. Um, into Slack. So what we're going to do is we're going to just test the trigger. We'll skip the test if there's not nothing there. But what will happen is you can test it by submitting some information with on that specific form and it'll catch it. So I'm going to press continue. And then I will find the app of where I want the information thrown to. And in this case, it's Slack. And you're going to send it to a channel because you had created a channel called new leads. find the exact one you want. And what we're going to do is add the lead notification here. So wherever the information is, it's going to catch the hook. I'll show you what mine looks like here in a second. But as you can see, there's my new leads channel. And then you can add new lead. And you put info, name, email, phone. And when you test the information, Okay, it's gonna, it's gonna show up here instead. And then what you're gonna do is basically, this information is gonna happen. You're gonna do a test and review. What will happen is you'll get a Slack notification. So I'm just waiting for that to show up and um, we'll see what happens. Okay, we got the notification. I'm gonna show you what I mean. So I'm gonna stop sharing, I'm gonna reshare into my Slack. 
and there's one message. So I'm going to click down to it. And as you can see, there's the information. Okay. So that is how we get a lead notification. Now, what if we want an appointment notification? Okay. I'm going to basically create another workflow. And so form submitted, I'm going to change it to an appointment. All right, so CRM. Let's see here. We'll go into here. We'll find calendar, I believe. Well, appointment, I guess, works because then it'll find a specific calendar. In calendar, you're going to find the calendar that works. So when someone books an appointment, save trigger. There we go. It literally goes into this setup instead. So we want to we're gonna use the same link. Make sure you or here's the thing too. If you're gonna do this, make sure this link is different. Otherwise, it'll shoot um, the wrong information to the wrong wrong place. So let's pretend we already got a new link, and this is the new link. And I'm gonna go into the setup phase. So just like normal, you know, after you test your appointments, you're gonna submit an appointment into that to get the to grab the information and the information will go into the webhook the webhook will then get shot into um, the right slack account and instead of new leads channel you're going to check check it uh, to prospecting booked appointments or whatever booked appointments information that you want and at the same time you'll get the information shot to you from that point you will test exactly what i did to get the notification and also be sure to double check specific uh, notifications. So that way, at the end of the day, you have proper notifications set up and you're good to go. So let me show you a quick example of that and then we will be finished with this video. So under here, I already have some things set up. And I just wanna show you a finished product of it. And that's my whole point behind this. And we'll just do the appointment notification to keep things simple. So I already have this calendar linked in. And when I, I can show you specifics. So like set up trigger, that link is already set up. Remember, we already showed you in the workflow on our test trigger. You know, as you can see, we have a request A. So when you do the testing period, you'll get the information. And I'll just put this as an example. And it'll have information from that calendar that it grabbed from. And I'll keep going, I'll press continue. And under Slack, what I can do is, you know, of course, we're still selecting the channel. But as you can see here, just as an example, I have various information that I grabbed from the catch the hooks. So that's a pure example of what you can see, what it looks like when someone actually submits something and what the hook actually looks like and what, and what information it catches. <clears throat> this could be from a survey, it could be from a calendar, whatever you want, you know, you're taking the information and submitting it there. And then you have you put it in the right channel with prospecting booked appointments and as a result stop sharing i'll go into my slack need lead notifications i'll find my prospecting booked appointments and as you saw earlier um, there's the information you know we've already had this appointment so anyways guys i hope this helped um, teach you guys how to pretty much um, send information from different places into different communication tools. So in this video, we just covered how to create a lead notification and prospecting booked appointments notifications. That way your sales team can be notified and your remote team as well. So I hope this helped and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you need any help with growing you know, your business online, we would absolutely love to help by simply going to www. Uh, personally marketing solutions.com and scheduling your free strategy session. Thank you so much. And I'll talk to you on the next video.